beautiful collectors and action figure fans. It's the one and only Optiponymous coming at you with another video review. And on today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Earthrise Deluxe Class Cliff Jumper. And this is the first figure that I've been able to get a hold of in the new War for Cybertron trilogy. For the package, really nice. You got this kind of aqua green color throughout the entire package obviously you have the transformers logo with the generation thing right up there you can see transformers war for cybertron trilogy earthrise then you got the window that fully showcases the figure nice image here of the side has cliff jumper running into battle obviously he's a deluxe class this side here we get a new image instead of the arc taking off from cybertron it is now crashing down to earth and we can see some uh, upcoming figures on here, which I'm really looking forward to. And you can kind of even see Unicron hanging out there in the background. That's really cool. Come around to the back of the package. You got him in his robot as well as his vehicle mode. And of course, he transforms in 18 steps. And then there's a whole bunch of other stuff down here that I cannot read. But for the packaging on this guy, that's about it. So without further ado, let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is. <laughs> And here we have him in his vehicle mode. And this guy really is outstanding. Uh, taking a look at this, there is no reason I feel that Takara, Hasbro, whoever's working on their figures, a lot of people have talked about how like Takara is designing these for the most part now. I don't care who's doing it. This figure proves that there is no reason why we can't get a masterpiece. This guy is really very well done. Now, starting off first with his accessories, uh, I love that he comes with this. In the very first episode, or one of the very first episodes, he had a giant bazooka. And it's nice that they threw this in. I'm absolutely loving this. As you can see, in this configuration, you can prop it there. And that's what he did. He kind of like, along with Hound, laid on the uh, edge of a cliff and he used this to attack the Decepticons. Obviously, this configuration is more served for him in his uh, robot mode, but this can still store in vehicle mode in two different ways. Uh, there's a lot of parts forming, I would say, with this figure. Starting off first with this weapon. Uh, so we're going to just plug this in here. Uh, maybe it goes like that. On the side there, detach this side, and then plug it in in the slots on that side. And then you can take this, and then you can plug it in right there. And you can drive around, and you can have the bazooka on the top of his car uh, if you wanted to. That's, you know, it is what it is. Or the best is to take all of this apart, take that off, take that off. This pops apart, and then you got a, a whole separate gun right here, which is nice. And then another one right here. Uh, are these the same mold? Oh, no, these are actually different. You can see that the, uh, the back section here has got a male and female sort of plug. So uh, they are a little bit different, uh, but... In, in his hands, they're going to basically look the same. And then you have this piece. Now, this piece can extend outward like that. You've got two little clips right here and then a little post right here. Come around to the underside. And then right here, if I can let me zoom in here, you can see you got uh, the little red section right there. That's going to post in here. So just kind of line that up and squeeze that in and then there's another little hole section right underneath here where you plug the other post so now you have that on the bottom now oh, oh man it ruins the tires you can't have him roll around well boys and girls if you remember in one episode of transformers he had little hydro skis yeah and you can do that here so now you got this piece which is kind of like a little ski you got a little slot section right here underneath or behind the uh, front tire Put that right there. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you're doing with that. Yeah, let's do that on the other side. I, I just absolutely love that they built this into it. And then this section, uh, you got little uh, bits right here on the uh, handles that have little slots in them that are going to lock into those little tabs right there. So plug that there. Do that on this side. Right there. And now... He's got his little hydro ski mode, water ski mode, whatever you want to call it. Uh, genius. Absolute genius, if, if, if I can keep that pegged in there all the way. 
love the fact that they designed this. Absolutely genius. Absolutely genius. I mean, you got like little thrusters right here. Maybe these go on the back. I don't know if it really matters. Um, I mean, yeah, that looks a little bit better, if you ask me. Maybe it's supposed to go like this. Um, but those little thrusters kind of cover up the tires a little bit more so you don't uh, see that. E either, either way, simply amazing that they built that in today. I, I, I'm, I couldn't be happier that they did something like that. So now taking all this stuff off, detaching this, this gets really in there very good we're going to put this all off to the side now for comparison the original cliff jumper that i used in my classics display is this guy and i don't even remember was this the war for cybertron game um i don't remember where this guy came from but this was the cliff jumper that i used for the longest time uh this was like a legend scale i want to say obviously this is a deluxe size figure he is bigger than this but this guy is still pretty small by comparison using a more common deluxe figure here we have him with side swipe um a lot of people are complaining because this is a 20 dollar figure now you do get this stuff uh so added accessories and everything increase the cost obviously uh the the engineering on this is pretty good uh, he's got better articulation i think than a legend figure but he's definitely smaller now he should be smaller but i don't know if this is a 20 dollars figure i i feel like that and it's it's kind of like splitting hairs but it's it's almost like i feel like this should just like be an 18 dollars figure I guess I don't know 20 eh, that that seems like a bit of a stretch you can see that the colors are pretty similar though between the two uh, but for a comparison here is a legend size figure this is uh, uh, the Titans return I forgot the line that this was in but it's beachcomber uh, and again legend size figure so a legend size figure is roughly the same size in vehicle mode as a deluxe figure now again there's more involved with this and you'll, you'll see that here in a bit than than this guy so it doesn't bother me really all that much but both of these were mini bots and he's a little bit bigger in uh, robot mode i don't know if that bothers me really all that much but uh i don't want to swap i mean like this is like the best beachcomber we've gotten in in a million years um I don't know. Uh, we'll take a look and we'll see all that here in a bit. But really, uh, I do like it. He rolls, obviously. Uh, you got a nice Autobot logo there. I love how uh, he's got a very clear uh, driver section right in there. You don't see any uh, junk up there. Really very nice. Uh, you can see he's got some nice silver paint through there. Black. The, uh, the rims here are nicely painted. Even the front is nicely detailed and painted with the little grill and then some like lights and vents and everything there. So overall pretty good I, I i am happy with it and like i said it absolutely to me screams cliff jumper so i'm thrilled with it now uh, first transformation again little bit of parts for me you have all this this piece here you got these little uh, you can see the little posts inside there you kind of have to wiggle those to get this piece to slide out and again parts forming it is a little bit annoying that this is happening but it works now this part's a little bit tricky you got to get this post out but th there's not a real uh, good way to do it um it, it it stays up there pretty decently so i'm gonna have to figure out something to wedge that there we go so pull that out i mean there's a little bit of a lip right here i wish there was a little bit more on the uh, actual rounded section that would help so bring that out like that you're going to need that later on so just set that off to the side but now you have this in it's weird looking let's just admit it uh this part right here uh this underneath this front section tabs in and then things tab in along the side so it's a little bit tricky but just kind of wiggle this uh to get that to loosen up and let's see if i can pull things away here i don't think i'm gonna really be able to it it does get now let's bring those down 
like I said, it, it get, there we go. Okay, you kind of have to pull that away and separate that. And then this piece here is uh, going to tab it along the side. Pull that apart as well. Come on. A lot, lot of uh, secure tabbing. And then there we go. And then you can rotate that around just like that. If you didn't uh, bring the foot or the, the, the tire in, you're going to want to do that um, eventually. So like that. And then you can rotate that around. That's going to keep things in the back. So again, let's kind of just wiggle that. And then bring that around again. You want the uh, the tire section here to be on the back. Now I'm going to leave it like that for right now. And then this whole bit right here is kind of like on a double... Ooh, ooh, double hinge sort of thing so pull these away and then you can straighten that out so you have a kind of like a upper waist area there and then you have some hips down there so do that and then you want to rotate that around like so bring these all the way up along the back section take this bring this out now <laughs> that's the way it was was open that put that down so it did a little automorph. Bring down these arms like so. Come down here to the uh, feet. And then you got a little tab right there that's going to slot in in between any of these spokes. So just kind of bend that and line that up as best as you can till it sits flush. Do that on this side as well. Just like so. Kind of straighten all this out. And now uh, you can leave it like that. If you want to, uh, it's going to leave a kind of ugly backpack or lack of backpack, I, I guess, but it looks ugly. You can take this. Now, you can use this in a couple different ways. You can have him actually hold this as a shield. Um, so, again, parts forming, yes, but functional part forming, I mean, that, that can become a shield like that, I guess. Get that gun out of the way. But for me, I'm just going to uh, straighten that out. And then you got a little post right here. Kind of position that. Best you can where it's straight and then kind of wiggle it in so it goes in straight, kind of collapsing that all the way in. And then that gives uh, a little bit more of a backpack, but it looks a little bit better than just an empty back section. Uh, but when you're done, there you have Cliff Jumper in his absolutely gorgeous looking robot mode. And yeah, right up front, I absolutely love this figure. There is one nagging thing that drives me crazy and that he doesn't have an Autobot logo on his chest. Um, maybe that was just done because you could see it in uh, the vehicle mode and he had one. Uh, well, I mean, oh, yeah, duh, I forgot. It is there in robot mode or vehicle mode. Um, but I really wish he had one here. Uh, he should have one. I could probably just use a, a repro label sticker to put it on there because ultimately most of my figures are in their robot modes. So I'm okay with that, I guess. As you can see, he can hold this cannon very easily there. You can separate all of this. You've got a whole bunch of different ports on there so you can armor him up. Uh, but you can use that and really recreate a very fun scene with him and Hound that absolutely speaks to the character of Cliff Jumper, basically being a giant hothead. And you know what? Uh, initially, I kind of talked about how the size of him uh, as a deluxe figure I felt was a, a little bit too small. Now, obviously, he is a deluxe figure, so it is what it is. But comparing him to a legend size figure he's not that much bigger honestly uh as i said these guys are both mini bots and you know what it's okay uh i i don't mind that all that much uh he is smaller than one of the standard deluxe size figures now and just to illustrate that with a side swipe again here he is he does get considerably smaller, uh, but as you can see through the transformation, he's a lot more involved than, say, Beachcomber. So that works. Not to mention that he's got all the articulation that a deluxe figure would have. Uh, so sending him in the back, this is the uh, the previous cliff jumper that I used. Um, you know, 
it is what it is. He's definitely a smaller figure. And again, a legend size figure from a previous line that now is even smaller by comparison to what we're getting here. So there's some definite give and take with this guy. One thing that I love is that I don't know necessarily if this is going to be redone as Bumblebee. Now, this is the Bumblebee that I use in my collection. Uh, actually, I swapped the arms out, which is, I think, a lot better looking. This upper part of the arm should be on this side, and I just, because that's like the front of it. But I liked swapping that around because it looked a little bit better. Um, he's definitely smaller. He's a little bit more uh, in scale with this guy. Uh, and that 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 works kind of as well um but i could i could see this being heavily remolded to give us a, a new bumblebee and if that's the case i'll be okay with it uh, i don't know how they're going to incorporate the uh, the back section here but time will tell uh all in all though i think it's a great figure and it turned out wonderfully now first articulation uh the head here is on a bit of a ball joint but it is limited because of the whole kind of neck and then uh large size head but you can't get it looking left and right perfectly fine great detail on there the head absolutely looks like cliff jumper as you would expect you have a uh, swivel here and then a hinge at the shoulder so you get a full range of motion there rotates at the uh, elbow bends at the elbow the wrists also do rotate around so again like i was talking about all the deluxe articulation that you can get in this figure uh, he does have a waist rotation which is nice you have uh, are those ball joints now th those are just universal joints here at the hips so forward and back in and out does uh, slightly rotate at the upper part of the thigh not a full 360 but you can rotate it out so you can see that you do have uh, a joint here at the knee i also like how you have this little piece right here that as you bend it kind of shows a little piece there that kind of covers up the giant gap there uh, the ankles don't really go forward and back but you do have the ankle tilt which is nice so a nice wide range of motion there in general, a great representation. You can, I mean, I, I kind of complained about it, but it is fairly accurate of sorts that he didn't have that much of a backpack. I mean, these tires sitting out here kind of uh, make it look a little bit worse, but with his feet, I feel like putting that on there just kind of helps balance uh, the overall look of them. So, uh, I mean options all day long uh, you, you have the different guns that you can use like i said you can detach these throw those off to the side you can detach this you can have him have guns in both hands which honestly i feel is a little bit more his style uh pew, pew, bang bang i mean i i totally can see that and then obviously you can put this in here so you can round all this up give him a uh, those little clips, bullet clips, I guess. Put that there. Let's see, what, what can you do with this? You can plug that into his back. I don't know. Um, not really much you can do with this. Oh, I guess you could kind of do something like that with it. Wrap, wrap that around. I don't know. You do whatever you want with that thing. That Whatever. Uh, overall, though, I mean, again, great figure, great look. Uh, the Earthrise figures have all captured my uh, interest considerably. This first wave has been knocking out of the park. Uh, leader class figures, uh, we are getting Optimus Prime as a, a semi-truck. Uh, I thought that that first Siege one was incredible. That Optimus one looks great. Now we are getting Astral Train again in this line so obviously he looks fantastic hoist grapple wheeljack i mean they're going with some heavy hitters uh for this first wave I i'm really impressed uh, now to transform him back i'm going to take this piece off set that off to the side bend his elbows backwards like so and then you can rotate these up and around this whole section here is going to detach swing out uh, like lift that bring this down pull this up cover his face put that back just like that and take this whole section open this open this this bit here uh, make sure you rotate the waist and then this section here goes down and this fold forward and when you kind of do that 
at the same time kind of bring this section back so as you fold that forward bring that down and then rotate this back just like so bring this all together you can then push this in this part does get a little bit tricky because of the tabs and everything. You do have some tabs on the inside of the thighs that you have to lock in. You have these tabs up here you have to kind of lock in. So just start with one and kind of just start fitting things around. These actually fit in fairly perfectly to where they're supposed to go. That's falling. Then keep that. I didn't rotate that down. Bring that down. And then these also have little tabs on the inside here that will uh, lock everything in to the proper sort of positioning so bring that out and I not get that what's happening yeah get that hole in there come on let me see here now right let me make sure you get all of that so just kind of fiddle with this get that Squozen, right? That's the the term nowadays that toy reviewers are using. They're making up more words, right? Get that tabbed in there, squeeze that in, locking that into place, and then rotate these wheels out. Well, that one wasn't, so let's do that there. And then you bring this in, you tuck this up like so, and then line this up and get him to hold this in his fists push that down and then push this up tabbing everything securely and there you have cliff jumper back in his vehicle mode but a super fun and awesome figure vehicle mode wise uh, obviously is not entirely what he was in g1 but it is a very nice updated look for him that fits well with the character at the $20 deluxe price point that may turn some people off but as you can see through the transformation it is despite his size of being kind of a legend figure really up to the standards of a deluxe piece and the robot mode is fantastic I keep saying it over and over that Hasbro has been killing it with their recent releases we are in one of the best times to be a transformer fan and figures like this really do help to cement that hell i shouldn't even say just figures like this because so much of what they've been putting out lately has been the exemplary so all that being said if cliff jumper here is a figure that you would like to add to your collection he is hitting various retailers right now or you can make it really easy on yourself and just go to big bad toy store so for that, I'll put a link down in the video description where you can go to BBTS and check out availability on this guy as well as the rest of the wide range of Transformer figures. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. Remember, if you like this video, guys, I would really appreciate it if you would help support it by doing one small thing for me. Increase the audience engagement by hitting that thumbs up button. That, as well as things like comments, really do go a long way towards helping me out. YouTube sees all that activity and says, hey, this guy's worth watching because a lot of people are watching him and engaging with him. So let's promote his video and show it to other people that might not be subscribed to him. And obviously in doing that can really help to increase views and bring in more subscribers. If you'd like to go a little bit further with your support, you can sign up and become a patron who through their continued support now more than ever help to make reviews like this possible. And finally, remember, grow wise, grow strong, but never grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid.